how did we get here? You know, um, me and Grox, we saw eye to eye for many, many a month at Concordia. And I even had Kevin watching it and he seemed to understand it. And I understood it fine and good. Like I, I knew what was going on. What Grox didn't know was that there would be fouls. There would be fouls because I was younger. I was younger than the, the, the normal age group on his channel, which were already three. I was still a seven. I was a seven that became a three. The engine that they talk of in Paul Walker, uh, Fast and Furious, the ingeniouses. So we didn't account for that. And then something happened with the way that he could see what was going on. He uses the mirror or some sort of technology where he can see everything. And, or he's just very keen on the internet looking at the images with his eyes. But something changed. It changed either in 2013 at the end of that year. Or it changed in uh, April 3rd of 2020. Whenever I broke my foot and back, then that's when he was showing all the political guys only. And he reverted to that after I said that they said, he's DC, be careful. The ambulance said that when they got me off the mountain. So something changed either at those two times, April 2020 or basically... January of 2014, something changed. He wasn't hearing from God or something happened. So Ben started the route of him saying Legion, Legion this, Legion that in his tabs. And he, and he knew about that something had to be done for a Brahma because he knew that the foul, that something went wrong. He didn't know what it was exactly, but he knew there was a fear that had to be conquered for the underworld pitfalls and that something was off. And the foul went the way it should for the Megaran, but we didn't know that yet. We didn't know that. So basically he thought, okay, then we have to we have to go the full route of the spirit, basically, of what it is. And I I agreed. Basically I thought I thought it for a long time. But then I was like, no, that is what it is. That's what it is. So then, you know, drifted, drifted, and then ga gathered all my intel with his and other people's. You know, a, a lot of, in, in shows and everything. And then went my route. And my route, you know, when I went to go see my girlfriend that day, he liked in his videos the uh, Jonah Jonah symbolism of in the heart of the sea. Chris Hemsworth. Now, was that his fault? No. Was it my fault? Yeah. But I'm just saying like he he knew about some of this stuff that was going on. And he even liked the uh, Maroon 5 songs at the time that were all like woman versus the beast. Like she's standing up like it's Wall Street statue. And it's like the, it's like the Brahma bull. So he was approaching it from that. It's Kali and it's, and it's Brahma and it's Indian symbolism. He was approaching it like that. And, and the, you know, the, the lay down in the sense of Dean from supernatural, he knew about both. Okay. So we were, we were vibing both those. So then when I got out of the pit, then he put in his like videos, Hidalgo, when, when the horses get freed, he did. So look, whether something happened with Obama or not, which it did, it did, whether he was abomination of desolation, didn't know what he was doing or something went down in Las Vegas where he lived or that he got that he was running with the Freemasons and they tricked her. See, that's why I don't trust him now. I don't trust him because we we had our go. 
We had our go with it, with Riley, Becca, all these girls that we sent out there that were mainly from CUI, even even May Linda and like Christina. They it showed that they were out there at some times. And we had big Han days. We had huge Han days. People forget about all this stuff. And like it's Terry though. I get the feeling they're having big breakfast and it's all it's all claws and fire stuff. Like he just makes them pilots and tur- and turns on the system of you got to eat potatoes like me and be on keto or whatever he's doing, you know. And I'm not saying that's completely wrong. That's fine if you, if you want to do that and be sexually active and everything, whatever your goal is with it. But like it like the actual claw itself is wrong. Like it, it's wrong. It's not. Like they, they persecute people. They persecute everyone that's forced to be a superhero in the system because they, because you can't say anything to them because it's all persecuting and they know everything. They're like a computer intelligence of Tower of Babel. So this is how we got here. Okay. I don't know it all. I don't know, but something happened with Obama for sure and his girl. And I'm not saying Obama's the best. I'm saying he's the true Revelation 13. He's got the feet of Islam uh, as Osama. He's got the body of Obama and he's got the mouth of a lion like Isaiah 11, the first part. That's him. Like that, that's not something evil, man. Like he he was saving people out there, like th- those are his brothers. Like, I'm sorry, but you got like, th- like if you want to take it the whole way, take it the whole way. You you guys let the fear come in. You let the fear come in of what I was saying. That's what you did. You let the fear come in. Because I got on here and got too hyper with Elias, with Ben V, with all these guys. I got too hyper. But Elias, he's out. There, we we had big Han days, Matrix days, and and they were out. So like, it, but but look who's talking. You can't say anything to me. I've been in here longer than all of them. And. And who, and who's been in longer than me? Groxt. Groxt has. He says it on the Mountain Dew Lemon in the playlist, the first video I have of his. In canon, in, in uncanny. It says it. He, he says what, what he's talking about. And that's how I feel every day. You guys let the fear come in. That's what you did. You, you took what I was saying, you take a little part and you twist it and you make your revelation 17 when it's not, it's all complicated because of U-turns and I, I, I gloss over a lot of stuff because I'm like, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. I try to hold it together. You guys let the fear come in. And Ben V, I know you've done a lot. And I know I wasn't there for you, but no one was there for me either. And and you know my situation. You know I can't do anything. I'm stuck like like all like all these people are stuck. But you have a job, and you and and you do all this stuff and know all know it all from the books. But but somehow that doesn't matter to you. It seems like that doesn't matter to you. And and you want to be lukewarm, vibing this. Oh, Freemason stuff. You know that's evil. Why? Because you feel bad? Don't feel bad. Just do what's right. Know who you are. Know who you are. 